And it says, He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. His blood shall be upon him, but he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. And what is that? Coming back to the, the, the wisdom and knowledge of Yahweh Shem Shai. Taking your heritage again. Coming back to yourself. Building yourself up, man. It says, But if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, so if you don't go out there and you don't do this truth and you don't blow the right sound, you might go out there and you might blow the trumpet, but you may be blowing the wrong sound. That's not preparing the people. So just like these other guys that the apostles and elders get on, these other groups, they're not blowing the sound of the trumpet. That's like you. That's like if you're in a band and you're blowing the right tune and then turn around the guy next to you, he's not blowing the right tune, the song's going to go off. You're going you to stop blowing your trumpet and be like, hey, man. You're playing the wrong song. Blow, blow the song, but blow the tune that we're supposed to be playing, not the tune of what they want to play, because that's they're not being on the same accord, man. And it says, "But if the watchmen see the sword come and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, but his blood will will I require at the watchman's hands." So you're supposed to blow the right sound, man. Because we're in the time of the Most High saying, look, go out there and warn them. Warn them. All right, this is the book of uh, Jeremiah 4, 19. This is the book of, of Jeremiah 4, 19. It says, my bow, it says, uh, my blood, bows, my bows, I am paying that at my very heart my heart maketh a noise in me I cannot hold my peace because thou has heard O my soul the sound of the trumpet the alarm of war let me go up let me go up one verse real quick so we can get the whole gist let me start at 16 it says, make ye mention of the nations, behold, published against Jerusalem, that watchers come from a far country and give out their voice against the cities of Judah. As keepers of the field are they against, against her round about, because she hath been rebellious against me, saith the Lord. Thy way and thy doings have procured these things unto thee. This is thy wickedness, because it is bitter. Because it is reacheth unto thine heart. My bowels, my bowels, I am pained at my very heart. My heart maketh a noise in me. I cannot hold my peace because thou hast heard, O my soul, the sound of the uh, trumpet, the alarm of war. And that's what I'm saying, man. We're, we're in the time of war. Okay, destruction is coming. This was, And then this is verse 20. Jeremiah 4 and 20. Destruction upon destruction is is. Uh, cried for the whole land is spoiled suddenly are my tents spoiled and my curtains are in in a moment how long shall i see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet for my people is foolish they have not known me they are sottish children they have not under they have none understanding that's why because a lot of our people they don't want to listen man and the ones that do listen that so-called come to this truth, they some some of them go off and go worse than they was before they came in the truth, man. Because they forgot the sound of war. They forgot the sound of the trumpet. Now they're going into all kinds of madness. You know, the soul is in the belly. Different things of that, that nature, man. But what what is the, the main purpose of they've forgotten? The sound of that destruction, man. And they become foolish. But the majority of our people, they won't come back. Two-thirds will not come back to, and will not take heed to the warning. Because what? They have none understanding. If they had understanding, they know the men that are out there on the four corners of the planet Earth pushing this truth. That's the Lord warning you and allowing the trumpet to blow, man. And you have the, the unicorn, the internet, okay? Which is also another horn that is being sounded. Why do you think these the, the Lord's allowing these 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 uh rappers to know that they're Israel? So so you have no cloak, man. You can't hide now. Even if you don't watch YouTube or you don't watch the videos on YouTube, now you got a so-called art rap artist well known that's blunt that that that's telling you that oh you're Israelite. 
So now you have to acknowledge those. If you acknowledge your Israel, then you have to acknowledge who? Esau, you have to acknowledge the other nations. You have to acknowledge what? The, the coming destruction, the prophecies. That's what comes with being an Israelite. It's not some, oh, oh, you get honorary fringes. That's it. Burgers and fringes. No. You have to acknowledge the things that come with being an Israelite, which is what? The, the words, the laws, statutes, the commandments, and the prophecies that come in that book, man. And the, the, the Bible is full of future prophecies. And it says, for my people is foolish, they, are, they have not known me, they are sottish children, they have not, none understanding, they are wise to do evil. And that's what this world is, man. It's, this world is bad times, man. If you want to make it in this world, be evil as possible. It says, but to do good, they have no, they have no knowledge. I beheld the earth, and lo, it was without form and void, and the heavens, that's it on that. But the main point was in 22, man. You have to, our people is not acknowledging the, the sound of this trumpet. Okay? Let me get a couple more precepts. This is the book of Psalms 98 and verse 6. And it says, With trumpets and sounds of cornet, Make a joyful noise before the Lord, the King. Let the seas roar in the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. So what? There's a, there's going to be a time we're going to make merry and, and mirth to our power. And that's somewhat in this time also because what? We're putting that sweet savor to the Lord's nose, man. We're, 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 but we're putting our what? Our prayers up, making our bodies a living sacrifice. When we go out there to the streets, man, and put our bodies to the elements or fasting, that's that's that, that's like burning ourselves. That's like us sacrificing ourselves to the Lord constantly. And he smells that and he and he makes account of that. That's why we hope and pray that he keeps the spirit on us to do it the right way. And to to, to please him, man. That's what we should be that's what we're made for. That's what the world, that's what everything was made for, man. For the Lord's pleasure. Especially this planet Earth. This is Eden. This is paradise, man. Let me get this last precept. This is the book of Isaiah 27 and uh, 13. This is the book of Isaiah 27 and uh, 13. Let me start at... Let me start at 29. Now I'm going to read to 13. Or, or 9 and I'm going to read to 13. It says, By this, therefore... Shall the iniquity of Jacob be purged? And this is all the fruit to take away his sin. When he maketh all the stones of the altar as chalk stones that are beaten in sunder, the groves and images shall not stand up. That's going to Ch uh, Cesare Bogier, Caesar Bogier, because that image is knocked down, man. You, you can ask an average white woman if that was a look at Christ, and, and she'll say no. And she's a base, that's a base of the base, man. So that image is being knocked down by the by the uh, power of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, man. Just like when the, the Ark of the Covenant went into the um, the heathen's hands, those idols got knocked down, man. So once this true Ark, which is the, the truth of Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, enters, other idols cannot stand, man. It says, yet the defense cities, the defense cities shall be desolate and the habitations forsaken. And like in this is and left like a wilderness, there shall the chaff calf feed, and there shall he lie down and consume the branches thereof. When the it says when the when the bow bow therefore is withered, they shall be broken off us uh, so like let me go to twelve. And this is uh, Isaiah twenty seven and twelve. This is Isaiah 27 and 12. And it shall come to pass in that day that the Lord shall beat off from the channels of the river unto the stream of Egypt. And ye shall be gathered one by one, O ye children of Israel. See that? It didn't say all the nations. It says the children of Israel. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown. And they shall come which were ready to perish. And that's us. We are ready to perish, man. Where we feel like we're unto death sometimes with the way the world is and, and the stress that, that comes upon us, man. 
you feel like you're ready to perish, man. Especially if you know the wisdom and knowledge, man. That's that 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 makes the situation worse, man. Because you know what's going on. You know that you're eating GMOs. You know that you're being persecuted. You know that everything's against you. You know that. So you you're 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 ready to perish, man. Read that again. And it shall come to pass in that day that the great trumpet shall be blown, and they shall come which were ready to perish in the land of Assyria, and the outcasts in the land of Egypt, and shall worship the Lord in the holy mount of, Jer of Jer Jerusalem. Alright? So that's what's happening now, man. I didn't want to make this too long, but you know, hey, how however it happens, it happens. But yeah, let that trumpet be blown. The trumpet shall be blown, you know? So the Lord is gathering us, man. And that trumpet is this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding that's being pushed by way of our apostles and elders and the men on down. So with that, I'm going to give all praise unto Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Brakat the Yahweh, Brakat the Yahweh Shai. Shalom to the hopeful elect, the men that are standing in this truth, man, with sincerity, honesty, and faith. We're almost home. We're almost to the time of tasting un, 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 unfathomable pleasures, man. By the way of the power, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Shalom.